Damn, you're freaking cute. Appalachian sunrise meets mine. So something I like to do when I'm shopping for things is I try to find things that I have similarly at home and then I mix them so that I can see what it looks like together. So I have a tablecloth that looks almost exactly like the same colors. It's a little different pattern. I have these chargers that I got last year. So I won't be buying these, but then I layer like, I want these napkins. And so that goes together with that. And then I just kind of place everything together to see if it goes together. And I found a white plate as well because I have my white dishes put on top of here and it looks super good. So this is what we're gonna get. And I'll put the rest of the stuff back. We're taking a short break oops, from shopping and having lunch at Del Taco. I found most of what I needed at Hobby Lobby. Um, we still need to go find some pillows and a throw. Didn't find anything that I liked at Hobby Lobby and I need to print a couple of things that I'm going to swap out in different frames that I have to make them more polished. So I'll do, we'll do that in a little bit. I think I'm gonna buy some prints on Etsy, which are like $4.99, like $3.99. I'll link them down below on the ones that I end up getting because I'm being very inspired by like vintage art, like vintage paintings. Um, but they're really affordable and you don't need to buy a whole new piece of art, but you can have it very customized to your style. would be super cute um, to replace my velvet pillows with I'm thinking about switching them out with these they're velvet blue and I just feel like these would be a little bit more subtle fall and be look more fallish I've been also looking for like some velvet pillows but the pillows are very picked over and they do have two so I'm thinking about switching these out plus it has like this mustard color which matches this blanket in the warm tone. So I'm thinking about putting this on the couch and putting these on our leather chairs. I think that's a plan. Let me go see if they have anything else. So the wreath that I'm going to make is gonna be kind of inspired by this, these sorts of colors and magnolia leaves in a coppery burgundy color. <laughs> this might be a great option for our bed because I have a reddish pillow and my reddish sheets. This is kind of like an orangey red velvet throw and it's been needing some color. You need to sit down. You want to go in the back with it? Okay. There we go. We made it. I was also looking for like a quilt or something. Ooh, this Daddy. One's cute. Thirty-nine. Mommy. Don't like the texture on it though. I could, if I could find a quilt. That would be great. Our bed is lacking some serious like texture. And so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a quilt. So baggy. But I don't see any fall inspired ones because then I can throw it on top of our white one that we have. Oh, this is pretty, but it's a cool king. It's a king. You want to see? That's really pretty. Okay, so I went a different direction. I didn't get the other blanket. It was just too bright and too similar in color. So what I'm thinking is getting this throw that's purpley 
I was looking for a pillow that would bring in both the red and the orange of my other pillow. And this is perfect because it also has the burgundy in it. Burgundy, maroon, purple, like this. And then this is the color of the pillow. This is another orange one I'm gonna get. And the other pillows that I have are red, somewhat like this, but it, it's more red. So I think that's what I'm gonna do to tie it all together. You guys, it is fall officially, and I am super behind on decorating. Yes, I know, I am. 31 weeks pregnant, almost 32, and I'm just behind on everything. Not to mention, the budget has been a little bit limited lately. Um, so if you are in the same boat and you have to wait to decorate, it's okay. So I just did my fall shopping to add in a few pieces to my collection, and I'm so excited to finally decorate the house. Um, and let me just say, I'm very grateful for the things that I was able to get this year. It always hasn't been this way, but I have an abundance of things to share. Let's start out with where I went first, which was Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby always gets me, but their decor is on such great, great price when you buy it at the half off point when they, you know, mark everything down. So everything I bought that was fall specifically was 50% off. It was a pretty typical thing that they do. Let me grab my bags <laughs> so I'm not like reaching over here. Okay, I dropped the camera. <laughs> I think it's okay. Let me see if we're centered here. All right, I think that's, that's, that's about where I had it. All right, first things first. I picked up, I've been seeing this trend around a lot with light colored maple leaves for arrangements. Super pretty, this look cute in like a little vase like this, just some sprigs of it. I'm going to be making some more dried floral arrangements. I absolutely loved those last year, so I picked up a few more, um, you know, different bouquets of different things. I picked up this bag of, I think it's dried eucalyptus and it's stained, it's mixed eucalyptus. I don't know if they dye these or not, but there's like a golden one and a red one. I picked up a bag of Phalaris, I think that's how you say that, in the brown color, super pretty. I loved how these looked. They just look so organic and pretty, cute. Um, and I tried to get like a variety of different shapes as well as colors. So then I got an orange lag Lagaris. These look like cattails. They had the brown ones as well, but I picked up the orange ones and they're so pretty. Trying to incorporate a little bit more burnt orange this year. I'm going to be making a DIY project. Um, actually, a, a couple. I think I'm doing a couple different ones. I have a terrarium that I found in my recent thrift haul and I'm going to make it into like a little pumpkin greenhouse, if that makes sense. So I picked up some moss for that. This is just Spanish moss and paint brushes for another um, DIY project I'm going to be making. I picked up a little mat for my, like under my, um, my dish rack in the kitchen needed one i don't have one in any kind of neutral color so i got this one for fall <laughs> i have like a light blue one and another color then i got some little a pack of white velvet pumpkins the tiny ones um these would be good as like filler material and i'm also going to put them in that little greenhouse that i was just talking about for my table now like as i explained in the video I like to change up my table every year a little bit and so and I actually don't own I think well I think I own a few linen napkins but not in the color that I needed them um, so I picked up a pack of four in burnt orange just to put on our plates our plates are white and that will make them nice and fallish and then I picked up three different colors of paint for our DIY project in folk art um this one is a little bit beige what color is this this is linen i picked up a brown in nutmeg and then i picked up a metallic radiant copper for our little diy project the thing i appreciate about hobby lobby sorry this paper is probably super crinkly and loud is that they have such a variety um, when it comes to colors and just different styles and you can pretty much find anything you want for fall there so I picked up 
Oh, I added a little pumpkin to my collection. A couple of my pumpkins have gotten broken since we got married, but this one was a really pretty coppery, golden, bronzy color. Um, and I loved this one. This one was $6.99 half off, so it was like $3.50. Our bro just came back. He went to go fix something on the car, or actually on our garage, and he forgot his wallet. So that's what you heard in the background there. I just love, I love ceramic pumpkins. I think they're so beautiful. This one was obviously gonna have to go somewhere where the girls either can't touch it or don't notice it. And then I'm going to add a little fall mug to my fall mug collection. This one is super cute. It has a little green leaf on it. And I love the, um, the texture on this. Looks like a little pumpkin. It's been a long day. We went to a Tulsa influencer sale this morning and it was packed, but I got to meet some vloggers here in town and it was just super fun. And the girls are napping, so I'm taking advantage of their nap time to film this real quick. Oh, these, oh my gosh, okay. I have wanted some cups like this since we got married. I think I was even contemplating using something like this for our wedding. This is like an amber glass, like cut glass um, goblet, the vintage glass goblet from the Robert Stanley collection. I got a set of four and I believe that these were the more golden ones. They also have some brown ones and they have green, um, but I went with the golden ones. They're so pretty, beautiful goblets. All right, so I picked up a wreath hanger because I'm gonna be making another wreath and I'm gonna be putting the one that I had last year probably at the back door and putting the new one that I'm going to make this year on our front door. So I needed another wreath hanger. Since I only have one, I picked up a grapevine um, wreath form to make our wreath. I also picked up a block of floral foam, the dry floral foam. Um, just in case I think I might need it for some of the like dried floral arrangements I want to make because last year it was kind of difficult to keep them all in one spot in like a really big vase um, that has a wide mouth so definitely needed this for our table setting I um I needed a can some candlesticks I have some candlesticks from our wedding that I've saved um, but they're for tea lights and I wanted to do long candles this year so I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted gold or iron black so I ended up picking up these ones because the other ones that I have are actually spray painted gold and I just figured these are you know standard and I have a lot of this color in my house. So I went with these, picked up a pack of white long taper candles to put in these. So I got a set of three of these. Two are the same height and one is shorter. Um, looking back, I probably would have gotten the big one, the medium one and the little one, but it's okay. I'll just use these three. I can always go back and get more if I need to, which I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna try to keep it minimal on the table minimal as in <laughs> probably not minimal but um minimal as far as like i guess different things sitting out on the table so i probably will just stay with my three candlesticks that i have last year i don't know if you remember from my fall decorate with me i had this vase that was beautiful i loved it it was organically shaped it was similar to this not exactly the same but i left it out for my spring decor and Adeline dropped it, or Bethany dropped it on the floor, and it shattered. And I d looked for it, they didn't have it this year. I don't remember if I got it at Hobby Lobby or Target, but it was very similar to this, and it was kind of like terracotta-ish terracotta on the bottom. I think it was more red than this, but this one is a beautiful replacement, and I love it. I love the shape of it. I like things with, an, with a small, like entrance at the top like this like bottleneck almost because it's easier to place stems and have them stay up the way that you want i also have some pompous grass from last year that i'm probably going to reuse um and it's just easier to manage when you have something like this <laughs> unless you use the floral foam of course and then for ceramics last but not least i had to pick this up it was so cute 
It's a little owl. I love it so much. It's super cute. Um, and it's for like a candle. So you can put a candle in here and light it like a little tea candle. Um, and I thought he would be so adorable in my coffee nook area. I think that's where I'm going to put him on one of my shelves. Um, and I can light a little candle inside or use a little um, battery powered candle for this as well. And that is everything that I got at Hobby Lobby specifically. Now let's move on. My battery's about to die, so let me change my battery and we'll move on to Marshalls and Target. All right, we're back and I forgot one thing from Hobby Lobby. I don't think I showed this earlier. I picked up a pack of filler with just pine cones and little acorns and stuff. It's always good to have for like arrangements or just to put on a table around certain decor pieces. All right, so let's move into um, Target. I went to Target. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna go to any other store other than Hobby Lobby because we had the girls. But um, I didn't see any pillows I liked, and I didn't see um, anything like. I didn't see throws. They had some pillows, but not in anything in my taste. And I was looking specifically for plaid pillows and for a yellow throw. And I found both of those at Target. Um, these are so plush. They are beautiful, like a nice fall plaid. This is from the Hearth and Hand collection. And one of these was like 22, I think, dollars or $20. Uh, probably 22 with with tax so love these these unzip the zipper is so smooth on these high high quality you can tell immediately off the bat and I'm gonna put these on my leather chairs in the in the living room so I got two different ones <clears throat> to swap out with the current velvet blue ones that I have and then I also got a throw in the exact shade I wanted I wanted either yellow or orange and this one's by Threshold, Target brand, just super soft. Like, I wish you could feel how soft this is. I love having throws and pillows, pillowcases also, that I can just switch out when the seasons change. Um, and you can customize the entire way that your living room looks with just doing those simple things as long as everything else is a little bit more neutral. But I also base things in my living room off of the colors in my rug. And I have orange, I have blue, I have red. So I have a lot of fun things to play with, with, with each season that I can like swap out. And I just thought that this and this looked very nice together as well with the, you know, the warmth of that stripe in there. Next, I was not planning on going on to Marshalls, but they didn't have, um, I wanted to get like a throw for this bed in our room. and. I needed it to match the color of our sheets and our sheets are kind of like this rusty orange color and I wanted to keep those for the fall season so I just feel like they kind of stand out a lot and I don't have anything to tie them in in the room because our room is very neutral and it has like charcoal grays. So I first found, um, I think I found this pillow first um, at Marshall's. I went to Ross, Ross didn't have anything I liked. Um, a lot so I went over to Marshall's and found this and it's kind of summery with I think these are z zinnias maybe I believe these are zinnias um, but it has some really pretty writing on it it also has a little bit of a, a pattern that is similar to what's on my carpet in here and my carpet is like a grayish grayish beige color <laughs> um, so this went perfect and it's actually choppable because it's down and super fluffy so I got this it has the colors in in my sheets and then I was like okay well I have to find a throw that goes with this pillow because this pillow could be the base of everything and I found the perfect throw by Ray Dunn actually <clears throat> was not planning on getting like I didn't get it for the writing on it because it says gather I got it for the color the color is such a rich purple and purple and oranges and reds actually look very nice together it's not colors you normally see together but they're in small enough quantities that i think we can handle it in this room and we can bring in some pretty like flowers and stuff and just go a little bit more fun back here with my neutral decor that i already have so these go well together i might flip this over because the other pillow i got has some writing on it or we could flip the pillow over and then i found this one which is like the perfect shade of orange to go with that color rusty rusty red orange um, and it's also in the pillow so if you can see the color combos just go well together 
This one says gather on it. It has a fringe. I have a little bit of a fringe tassel look on my um, bedspread that you'll see when I make that video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as speedy as possible so that it's not like 30 minutes worth of a haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be decorating probably somewhat this evening, starting this evening, doing it tomorrow. And that video will be up very soon as well. I hope you guys enjoyed our travel vlog to Branson. Super fun, super, super fun. That was my first vlog I've ever done on my channel. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. And stay tuned for my fall Decorate With Me 2022. Thank you for being here, you guys. I really appreciate you and God bless you. Bye.